esteemed faculty of the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. Did you attend the Student Research Day Slam last spring? Maybe you tuned in for the live streamed SciComm Science Slam just this past August. And you've been wondering as a faculty member, when is it my turn to slam? When's it my turn? Cue Ariel from The Little Mermaid singing part of that world. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you, Jocelyn Bosley, Research Impact Coordinator for the Office of Research and Economic Development here, that it's finally your turn because the Faculty Research Slam is nearly upon us. It will take place as part of Nebraska Research Days this November 15th, and we invite you to apply to share your research, scholarship, or creative activity with peers across the boundaries of expertise and discipline. Um, and this is really what makes the SLAM event unique and exciting. You have the opportunity to share your work in short, engaging, creative presentations, no PowerPoint allowed. So we're, we're, really, we're really testing your, your, your boundaries here. And uh, it's always a good time. As part of the SLAM experience, we ask you to address a particular prompt to sort of encourage you to think maybe a little bit differently about the work that you do and how it could be of interest to others, not only within, but also outside your field of expertise. And so no doubt you've noticed that I have the, the N 2025 strategic plan aims strategically placed in the corner of the screen here. And that's because this year's prompt, I think, really gets at an element that is common to all of these aims. So when I read over them, innovative student experiences, impactful research and creative activity, interdisciplinary endeavors to solve critical challenges, broadening engagement, inclusive excellence and diversity, and participation in professional development. Every single one of these involves sharing the work that we do. And that may seem obvious, um, and it may seem like at times, sharing your work is something that you do primarily for others, like writing thank you notes, for example, um, something that you do because it's a good thing to do, it's philanthropic, it benefits others. But I think if you reflect on it, you'll, you'll realize how much sharing your work also benefits you as a researcher, and as a scholar, as a creator. Um, and so that's what this year's prompt is really encouraging you to do and to think about. Um, specifically, we ask you to address the prompt, what is the most important thing you've learned through sharing your research, scholarship, or creative activity with others? So these others that you share your work with could be sort of the usual suspects. They could be your colleagues in your department, in other departments, through professional societies, conferences, publications, um, some of the, the things you usually think of when you think about ways of, of communicating your work and putting it out there. Um, but I would encourage you to think bigger than that. The others with whom you share your work could be your five-year-old who asked you a question like, what do you do all day? Something that just cuts straight to the heart of the matter as five-year-olds tend to do, um, that made you consider your work in a completely different way um, or from a completely different perspective. So. I encourage you to think very broadly about what sharing your work means, who, who the people are with which you've shared it, and tell us about an experience that you had that really benefited not just the audience for your work, not just the person or people with whom you were sharing your work, but you as a researcher, as a scholar, and as a creator. Um, and if you think about it, if you imagine spending a day in the lab or the field or the art studio um, or your office and coming through with some big, amazing breakthrough, in your field and then going home and sitting down eating chips and not telling anybody about it, that'd be a pretty empty day. That'd be a pretty sad day. So sharing our work really is what makes it meaningful, not just to others, but to us. And I'm looking forward to hearing your examples of how that's been the case for you. So the slam is happening November 15th. Your application will be in the form of a 60 second video trailer submitted via flip, super easy to use. I'm using it right now uh, to record this video and naturally gave myself longer than 60 seconds because I don't have to follow the rules of the slam. I'm not a slammer. Um, I'm just here, I'm just the messenger. So you'll submit a 60 second video trailer of your proposed slam talk. If you're selected as a semi-finalist, you will be invited to participate in an exclusive media skills training session, which is a fantastic opportunity. And those selected as finalists will have the opportunity to give their five minute slam talks at the slam on November 15th, where the audience will vote to decide the winner. So 
I'm looking forward to seeing your creative and thoughtful responses to this year's question, and I will see you at the slam.